Okay, but Mr. Jairam Ramesh, we've seen in Manohar Parikar's case in Goa, he's taken various non-populist decisions also, and he's been able to thrust them down people. There might have been a little bit of uh, wariness to begin with. Do you think it is possible, you know, take forward our argument in the beginning, to be non-populist and yet effective? Or do you think that the very nature of governance in India is such that to be popular, you have to be populist? Uh, you know, first of all, I don't agree with this word populist. You know, what is populist to you? Uh, may not be populist for somebody else. It's a, it's a, it's a, populism is a very fashionable middle class English speaking word. Whenever we have a program which is meant for a large section of people, we say it's populist and we condemn it immediately. I don't think it's, it's quite right. I think many of these uh, programs actually help in growth. Uh, a healthier population leads to higher growth. A more educated population on the strength of the type of scholarships that are given in a state like Andhra Pradesh actually helps growth. The subsidies that are given in Andhra Pradesh for women's self-help groups actually helps the process of generating and sustaining that economic growth. But that's a, I think that's a completely different argument. But I, if you're asking me whether it's possible for an administrator in a state to eschew these programs and work purely on an investment-oriented strategy, uh, I don't see very many examples of that in large states. I don't. Uh, it's possible in some areas you can do it, but I think over a period of time you will see that even some of these so-called tough leaders who resist the temptation of welfare programs also end up adopting welfare programs.